Those stories coming up. Now, it's said there are just two certainties in life, death and taxes. No one's found a cure for taxes yet, but a doctor thinks he's at least found a way to cheat time. Nick Etchells joins him and some other senior citizens in search of the elixir of youth. Three aces. Nice, but nicer. Full house. Ooh. What could this possibly have to do with ageing gracefully? I got nothing. Once again, the marketing maestros have nailed it. What's going on? Get back to bed. Feel young again. No, it's about feeling young. It's definitely not about looking young. How do you feel young when the body starts breaking down? Well, lots of things happen when you age, but three of the things that we really know about is one, you lose muscle mass. Two, you put on weight, fat, and three, your skin gets thin. Melbourne GP Dr John it's Levin nice believes the elixir of life comes in injectable form, human growth hormone. The opposite happens with growth hormone. You put on something like about 10% of muscle without exercise, you lose about 10% of fat without dieting, and your skin gets thicker. We first met Dr Levin three years ago. Back then he drew fire for using and prescribing growth hormone as an anti-ageing treatment. So how's the good doctor faring now? I'm 77 and a half <laughs> and I don't feel any different than when I was 50 or 55. If jabbing yourself with a needle isn't your bag, here are some au naturel oldies who'll drop your jaw. Drug-free silver assassins. Do you really want to live forever? Dolores Pearson, 78 years old and a fourth Dan karate black belt. How old were you when you took this up? 64. Ray Moon, 79 and believed to be the world's oldest competing bodybuilder. Look at me. I got a kiss, I got a language. My body. Mm. For an old bloke, it's not bad. And Bet Kalman, 83, and one of this planet's oldest working yoga teachers. For yoga, you need you and the floor. Nothing else. They all have a common trait, a refusal to slip quietly into feebleness. And if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, it's a simple fact, isn't it, really? I just think if you don't do it, you're a wimp. Every morning, 78-year-old former football coach Tom Hafey does an 8K run, a swim, stretches, 300 push-ups and 300 sit-ups, all before most of us have even woken up. So, what's the secret? The alarm goes off at 20 past five, I think, you are joking. I've just got to bed. I've had a big day. I've got a big day coming up. I'm getting on. Everybody says that. No excuses, you just do it. Mm -hmm. And we'll be collecting how much oxygen your muscles are using as you're exercising to look at your aerobic fitness. Excellent. Melissa Arkenstall is one of Australia's foremost exercise scientists. Heart rate at 135. She says the idea you can't get strong and fit in old age is a myth. We have a couple of clients that we train that are fitter in their 60s than they have ever been in their life. Black Belt Dell is living proof. Let's say I go for your throat. <laughs> she got me a good one. I'm very, very sorry. I shouldn't have struck you. Oh, no. You taught, me a, you taught me a grand lesson. Anybody can do it if they have the mind to do it. In terms of health and fitness and vitality, what's the, what was the best age of your life? When were you fittest? Oh, I'd say probably up to about 73, 74. It doesn't matter if it's punching, stretching or even posing, whether you prefer needles or knee strikes. When you break it down, they're all saying the same thing. What keeps me feeling young is I think my attitude to life and one thing. We retire from your job, but don't retire from life. Isn't Never it? too old, I hope I'm doing it at 93 if I'm still alive. Will you? The, the good gate of God, so I mightn't be here. <laughs> Fantastic. Some of those so-called oldies put we middle east to shame.